soft and beautiful light over the sepulchre. He at first thought that the woman had come to embalm the body of Jesus, as was their custom. But he could not see how they had gotten through the guards. While these thoughts were passing through his mind, behold, the whole place were lighted up, and there seemed to be crowds of the dead in their grave clothes. All seemed to be shouting and filled with ecstasy, while all around and above was the most beautiful music he had How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> you know, in a minute, we're going to have to ask how I'm doing tonight. Because uh, I'm a little... Um, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. We're, we're doing something a little bit different. But actually, it's kind of uh, based on the original plan for this channel. Um... Screen is the screen working? So yeah, okay. Just making sure that's working. So the original plan for this channel, because you know I did like seven graphic novels, and I have um you know in the middle of Vin Duty, but it's been on pause for like a year and a half while I've been doing this stream, and I want to get back to that. So I'm also thinking I'm going to get back to the original purpose of this stream, which was to build things live, you know. Um, one of the reasons that was important was, um, you know, just to show that, yeah, I'm just doing this in the last hour of my day. It's like you can see 100% of what I'm doing. Um, so I was going to build the comic and I was going to build some other things on the stream. And that's kind of what we're going to do today. But I got sidetracked for like a year and a half building these puzzles and models on the live stream. And I do plan to finish the ones that I started. So I've probably got like, let's say a hundred of them that I need to finish still. Uh, and I'll finish them. I don't know when I'll finish them. I'm not going to finish them today. I'm not going to finish them tomorrow. But I'll finish them. Today I want to do something new. And it's something completely different. Uh, I'm going to start... I'm going to sing a song. I, I'm not going to sing it tonight. But at some point I'm going to sing a song. And I'm going to do the music. And I'm going to do the music video. And you're just going to like watch that process like from start to finish. Which is kind of like... You might think like, well, that's a stupid idea because, you know, you don't know how to do that. Like, you've never done that or whatever. Um, yeah, you're right. I mean, I've never sung. I've never made music. I've never written music. I've never made a music video. I've never done any of that stuff. Um, but when I made my first comic book, which was you know, 290 pages and well-received. I mean, I hadn't even read comic book. I didn't own any comic books. I, no, I owned one. And that was I had picked up at a Blockbuster uh, clearance sale because the Blockbuster was closing. I picked up a copy of the Watchmen graphic novel because that year, earlier that year, the Watchmen movie had come out. And that was like, Watchmen graphic novel. You know, it wasn't really that long ago. Uh, so I, like, picked that up, read it, and I was like, I can make a graphic novel. And I did that. And then I kind of got into it and read a few more and started analyzing 
you know, how they work. Uh, and I think I made more traditional ones after that. Venduti, I think, is uh, pretty traditional. But um, some of the stuff I did was kind of um, an electromagnet. It was a little bit not what you would do, but it also wasn't too far from the one source that I'd read. Not source, but the one example that I'd read, which was Watchmen. So, at least I've seen music videos and heard songs. So, I'm starting off better than I did with the graphic novel. So, let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the song that I'm going to use as the reference. I don't know how far we'll get today. By the way, there's some, like, explosion outside right now. I don't know what that was. Uh... Like, right as I said, okay, let's get into it. So, I don't know what that was. I know the garbage collection went by, like, a minute ago. So, it's entirely possible that somebody... Why is my... I need my face to work because I'm, like, live streaming. Um, doesn't rec doesn't want to recognize my face. All right, let's just go to, I guess, camera three in that case. And I'll, like, turn my back. Can you still read it if I turn my back? You probably can't, right? Let me try. Let me see. I'm just making sure I'm not giving away my password. All right. It's unlocked now. So I can go back to uh, this screen. Uh, so this was the model that we were working on, but we're going to do something different today. I'm going to look up the song. Uh, first, we'll just look up, let's just say the name of the song. I'm just curious what comes up on Google if I search for Highwayman. So Google kind of has hints because already today I searched like release date and lyrics. So there's the, I believe that's the official video. I can't launch it because then the stream will get knocked out, but it shows the lyrics there. Um... What is the meaning of the highwayman? What did a highwayman do? Who are the four highwaymen? That sounds like a reference to this song. Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings. Yeah, that's them. Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson. What is the meaning of a highwayman? It's someone who robs a stagecoach, by the way. Which is interesting because if you recall... The um, puzzle that we were working on is the Roker Stagecoach. So probably this Highwayman song showed up on my feed today because, like, that's what the Highwayman is. It's a guy who robs stagecoaches. And the uh, stagecoach is very famous in the Wells Fargo logo. Or more famously, you might have walked to a car and on your way... Walking to the car, you might have shouted, uh, shotgun. I think you have to wait until you're outdoors to shout it. And then if you shout shotgun, then you get to sit in the front passenger seat. Rather than in the back seat, which, you know, I mean, come on. I know cars are better these days. I have a 4Runner, which has stadium seating, which means that you can actually see out over the people in front of you. But still, you know... You want that front seat. So you shout shotgun. So on the stage coach, it was, uh, I'll just bring back this uh, reference here that we had. It's kind of a funny shape. The people sit um, like kind of up here. You can see, uh, it's at the front or the back. Yeah, no, you can see it here. So there's where like the passengers sit. There's the wheels, obviously. But the driver sits here. Now, this model only has a driver's seat. But there's supposed to be two seats. And the driver sits in one seat with the reins. And the guy who sits on the other seat, or maybe it's like a bench. Not, it's not like two bucket seats. It's probably a bench. And they sit way up high. As you can see, they're way up at the top. They're like above where the passengers are. But, you know, they're also above the horses, which they need to see above. So, there's two guys there. One of them's got the reins, and the other one's got the shotgun. 
Because if you get robbed by a highwayman, the shotgun guy is going to fire a warning shot or, you know, maybe he's going to fire a kill shot. I don't know. You know, he's uh, probably depends. If there's like six highwaymen and they're coming out guns, then the shotgun the guy in the shotgun seat is probably going to go gun blazing too. The driver is probably going to pull out a pistol. I mean, and there might still be, you know, problems because... You know, you're getting attacked. This happens today, like with cars. The car is like, the car in front of you stops and uh, and it's like a position where you can't back up. It's like an exit ramp and there's like columns on the side. And then some people get out of the car and block the road. And it's like, what do they want? Is it a carjacking? Is it a like something worse than that? And uh, these days, I'm not sure what options you have other than to, you know, pedal to the floor and and look for a gap, but back then, you had the guy with the shotgun, which sat in the stagecoach, and the guy he was protecting the passengers and the cargo from was the highwayman. Um, that's a little bit dark to say that this song is called Highwaymen and it's about the bad guys, but um, there could be a point to that, I'm not really sure. Um... And normally, I wouldn't want to sing a song from the the perspective of the bad guys, but it's actually Good Friday right now. Well, it's technically Saturday because it's after midnight. But, um, you know, Jesus returns on Sunday, and uh, where he is in the middle, you know, is probably exactly where the highwaymen end up. So I think it's not... If you're ever going to talk about it and maybe today is the day you know so let's take a look at the lyrics from this song so yeah this is uh not these guys recorded it in 1984 cash jennings nelson and christopherson but i think the song is from the 70s someone else wrote it so let's just first take a look at the lyrics uh so we're far from like putting down a, a drum beat and a, a melody and singing it and making the video, but it's day one. We're just going to start here. We're just going to take a look at the lyrics. So let's see what the lyrics are. I'll just kind of read them. Uh, so I'm not going to read them like I'm singing. I'm going to read them, and I'm not going to read them like we're at a coffee house um, poetry reading either. I'm just going to kind of read them i i might be unable to resist reading them slightly dramatically but here goes i was a highwayman along the coach roads i did ride with sword and pistol by my side many a young maid lost her baubles to my trade many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade the bastards hung me in the spring of 25, but I am still alive. I was a sailor. I was born upon the tide. With the sea I did abide. I sailed a schooner around the Horn of Mexico. I went aloft to furl the mainsail in a blow. And when the yards broke off, they said that I got killed. But I am living still. I was a dam builder, across the river deep and wide, where steel and water did collide, a place called Boulder on the wild Colorado. I slipped and fell into the wet concrete below. They buried me in that great tomb that knows no sound, but I am still around. Another firecracker just went off outside, that's not part of the song. I'll always be around, and around, and around, and around, and around, and around, and around. I'll fly a starship, across the universe divide, and when I reach the other side, I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can. Perhaps I may become a highwayman again. 
or I may simply be a single drop of rain, but I will remain, and I'll come back again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Songwriter Jimmy L. Webb, Highway Man Lyrics, White Oak Spring, Seventh Son Music, Nivek Yash Music, Seventh Son Music, Inc. So, are we on the Rap Genius site? Oh, you can go to the Rap Genius site. Well, this would have nothing to do with me creating the song. I am kind of interested in the Rap Genius um, breakdown of this song, but I'm not sure it matters. By the way, it was very tough to resist singing it, and I definitely don't know the tune, so it would probably be a bad idea to sing it. But I see that there's nobody actually watching this broadcast. Well, at least not on YouTube. Let me check. Uh, there's nobody watching it on Rumble either. And on Twitter, it's sometimes hard to tell on Twitter if anyone's actually watching it or not. Uh, what is going on here? Yeah, I don't think anyone's watching it on Twitter either. So I think we can go ahead and uh, I'll kind of read this again and I'll not resist the urge to sing, but it's probably going to sound terrible because I'm not a singer. I was a highwayman. Along the roads I did ride with sword and pistol by my side. Many a young maid lost her baubles to my trade. Many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade. The bastards hung me in the spring of twenty-five, but I am still alive. Boom, 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 boom. I was a sailor. I was born upon the tide. With the sea I did abide. I sailed the schooner around the Horn of Mexico. I went aloft to furl the mainsail in a blow, and when the yards broke off they said that I got killed, but I am living still. I was a dam builder, across the river deep and wide, where steel and water did collide, a place called Boulder on the wild Colorado. I slipped and fell into the wet concrete below. They buried me in that great tomb that knows no sound. But I am still around. I'll always be around and around and around and around and around and around and around. And around. I'll fly a starship. Across the universe divide And when I reach the other side I'll find a place to rest my spirit if I can Perhaps I may become a highwayman again Or I may simply be a single drop of rain But I will remain Did you hear that? They set off a double firework when I said Perhaps I'll be a highwayman again and I'll come back again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. All right, so that's the song. That obviously is not going to be the track that ends up in the video. In fact, it's probably going to be really painful when I listen to that tomorrow, if I choose to. Probably was painful for you tonight. But anyway, that's going to be the song. Uh, I'm probably going to look for some way to generate drum tracks. I actually got a MIDI machine for Christmas this year. It's something that had been on my uh, sort of wish list, I would say, uh, maybe for 30 years or so. And I just got it this Christmas. The thing about me is, um, I, I mean, I don't want to label myself a workaholic, but at least in terms of presents, um, things that I buy, I, I tend to only buy them if I feel like I can use them in some sort of work capacity. So like, for example, 
when I got in this review program, like you can pick anything from this review program, but I picked these models and puzzles because then I could stream them. It's like some type of work. And um, a lot of the stuff I do is like that. It's like um, even the way I'll spend my time, like I feel like I, I should be streaming, not just like assembling the model for myself. Um, not always. I mean, I was watching basketball for about an hour before this stream started. So it was Duke and uh, my son told me they actually won. Um, and I saw before that, that, uh, Gonzaga had lost. I didn't see the game, but I saw the score. So anyway, Dukes lives on and Gonzaga does not. All right. So I guess the next thing that I would do is, um, search for a drum machine. Like I might have one on that MIDI machine. I haven't played with it much yet, but. Let's just try online drum machine uh, generator. Should I add the word generator? Um, online drum machine. There we go. I don't think I have this set up for you to hear uh, what what it's going to play. Let's just do something like very simple. Um, let's do... Uh, what do you think we should do? Well, it's already got something here. It's kind of like... I don't think I even like that, what it's got. Like, they're going to use the hi-hat the whole time. A bass drum, a snare drum. I guess that's, yeah, that's pretty basic, right? Yeah, we could play that. Just thinking. What if we... Uh, what else could we do? Let's just put a ride symbol at the end, just so that we did something. Uh, all right, now, if I play this, will you hear it? Hold on a second, let me see if I can get this going. Uh, I want it to be, okay, this is HDMI 2. I gotta go into the sound editor. So HDMI 2, I just turned the sound on. But we also need to turn it on, on the source. All right, let's see. All right, that didn't sound like amazing. Um, let's just do, um, let's click that swing. All right, so this is like same idea. You know, I don't even know, can you hear that? Because I, I got to put in headphones, I can't hear it. Um, what I could kind of hear with the speaker turned off, it sounded terrible. So this may not be what I use, but I see here that you also could add like the bass track. Is that true? All right, so I don't know what this website is, but potentially I could, you know, get at least a couple of tracks from this uh, maybe not this exact site you know I may have to find something better because what I could tell from the few seconds that I used this it looked pretty like horrendous but uh, I shouldn't say that because it's the first hit off uh, Google and I don't want to get sued um, so it, it sounded fairly good and uh, and great and I love it uh, but I might use something else just because I'm an idiot um, so anyway, we'll somehow come up with some music, uh, and then we'll add the vocals or is that how it works? Do you put the, you probably put the, uh, you probably could be some breaks in it, right? There could be, uh, anyway, I, I don't know how to make a song, but I'm thinking that you lay down the rhythm track first. Uh, and then you probably do the vocals and then you probably start chopping it up and thinking where you're going to put some instrumentation into it. So I don't really know what I'm going to do, but at some point there's going to be a music track. Maybe it's going to be horrible, but I'm going to stick with it, you know. <laughs> 
I mean, I did that first comic book. It took me three years to do it. And, you know, a lot of times during that three years, I was like thinking, wow, this is really going to be horrible. I, I ended up saving it during edit it. I remember feeling like a miracle had taken place. I was like, holy shit, I can't believe I'm going to save this thing. Uh, anyway, it's a pretty good, um, it ended up pretty good. But then after that, I actually knew after going through that process, I knew how to create graphic novels and then the future ones were better. So we might get a few interesting seconds out of this or maybe not, maybe it'll just be a total loss, but I'll develop the skill of, you know, creating songs. And if you follow along, I guess you'll learn it too. But we're not just going to create the song. What we're going to do next is create music video to go along with the song, which I have some ideas uh, how I'm going to do that with some simple animations uh, and some um, AI generated images, which is a, more difficult than you might think to do because the AI is kind of terrible. Uh, even the ones that are supposedly good and you have to generate like 200 images to get one that you like. And you might say, oh, because you're not good at, you know, using them. Fine, fine. I'm terrible at it. But I'll tell you, it's going to take me 200 images to get something useful. Which means that the part that's supposed to be like automatic is actually going to be terrible. But we'll get there. <laughs> at some point, we'll have music vocals video and you're going to be like holy shit a regular person with no skills talent or idea what the hell they're doing can just like you know show up every day and muddle their way through song creation yeah i mean this is how you learn this is like um one thing that i remind my kids sometimes and i should mention that they do very well in school um I'm not going to go into the details right now, but one thing I remind them is that everything is self-taught. You can have the best teachers in the world, the most expensive tutors. Someone could like buy you all the books and you could watch all the Khan Academy videos. But if you don't care, you're not going to learn anything. Alternatively, you could have none of that stuff other than you see the problem and you keep it in your mind and you keep hacking away at it until you solve it. And then after you solve it, then you can tackle the next problem. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't get education, you know, because if you just solve the problems without ever talking to anyone else, then you'll end up like Ramajuan, the uh, notorious uh, Indian mathematician who solved all sorts of problems, but nobody could tell what or how he did it because he was self-taught and his notebooks were a mess. So, although no one can teach it to you but yourself, it's not a bad idea to also have teachers, instructors, tutors, guidebooks, because then you'll at least know what are the standards, what at least is the communication system that people use. I haven't done any of that yet. So it might happen that off camera, I might watch some videos about like music creation. And then, you know, when I do the next, when I do day two of this project, I'll probably reference those and maybe I'll, I'll link them. So anyway, I think all we really did for today was state the goal, which is fine. It's day one. Um, I did get further on day one when I started working on the comic book. In fact, I got really far on day one. I created the main character, Noah Tell. I wrote like three chapters, which ended up being um, in the book. I wrote stuff that ended up in the book. I wrote uh, Coda Hall's chapter, um, Michael's chapter. Maybe I only wrote two chapters, or maybe I wrote something else. I don't remember. Anyway, I got a lot done. I definitely wrote, you know, I definitely designed Noah Tell and I wrote Michael and Coda's chapters. Although Coda wasn't named yet, I didn't know what I was writing. Uh, but Michael's, I absolutely knew who, what I was writing. Uh, I think I collected ideas on Noah Tell. Anyway, these things don't mean anything unless you've read Electromagnet, which 
I guess tomorrow I'll update this video with a link to Electromagnet just so you can see it. Um, we'll see what happens. You know, it's I'll muddle through this. It could be terrible, but I'll do it. <laughs> it won't be any worse than one of these puzzles that I've failed on. I'm John Rapp. This is Just Rest Your Eyes. Good night and see you tomorrow.